Hello everyone, Sherlock Phantom One here with another summer blockbuster shark film to rant about. But today we will be covering a different genre of shark movie. A drama thriller in fact. The Shallows, a 2016 film about a young surfer named Nancy Adams who goes to a secluded beach her mother told her about before her passing. And while trying to catch one last wave, she ends up in a nightmare situation after being bit by a great white shark that circles her while she takes refuge on a rock. Now, I know we covered most of this movie in a movie talk comparison over three months ago, but instead of comparing today, I'll be pointing out and bitching about some of the movie moments that had me confused and or yelling at the screen. So sit back, grab a snack, and let's get to the rant. First off, I'd like to say, like The Meg, this is actually a really great movie in my opinion. Probably in my top three to be honest. It has action, jump scares, and sharks. But does it have some illogical and dumb Hollywood moments? Yeah, but name a shark movie that is both logical and entertaining. Anyway, the first point of which I want to rant about starts at the beginning of the film, where we see Nancy, who is traveling to the secluded beach with a man she seems to have just met, who agrees to drive her to the said secret beach that has a name so secret no one in this movie seems to mention it. But that being said, apparently Nancy not only doesn't know where this beach is or the name of it, she also seems to know very little Spanish. She's kind of irresponsible on her part because she's in, well, Mexico. How could she have told this random guy where this beach was? Not only does she struggle with Spanish, but she has no idea what the name of the beach is and or where it is. I mean, yeah, she has a translation app, but what could she have said? Sir, please take me to this beach my mom told me about and show him a picture and have him know exactly the secret one beach she's talking about. Then when we finally arrive at the beach, Nancy finds some other surfers who with whom she can hang out with. But when they decide to pack it in, Nancy decides to go for one last run and decides to do the dumbest thing and perhaps the biggest no-no there is in the handbook of swimming in the ocean. Never swim alone. And then later she swims up to a whale carcass that she spots nearby. Now I'm not a surfer, but As common knowledge, I would assume the two main ocean rules apply to both swimming and surfing, and are pretty general rules. One, no swimming alone, and two, not swimming up to dead things or whale carcasses. I'm just saying, especially as a surfer, wouldn't you be aware of these rules? Anyway, another moment that gets me is whenever Nancy sees someone and calls for help and yells and waves, which is good, then she seems to go quiet the minute she thinks that they noticed her, apart from the drunk guy, I suppose, who comes in later. Anyway, skipping towards the end, after Nancy fights the shark and stuff, spoiler alert, she is saved by the guy who she talked to earlier, and as he pulls her to shore and lays her down to make sure she is breathing and such, Nancy is revived but begins to cough up water. And all I'm saying is why didn't this guy know to turn her body over when she's choking on the water? That's another common knowledge thing I feel is universal for people to know. When someone is vomiting or coughing up water, turn them over on their side in order for them not to continue choking on the fluid and drown. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed another shark movie rant and if you did, be sure to like and subscribe for more and have a fantastic day. No? Okay, I'll just let myself out. Thanks for watching, guys, and this is Sherlock Fan Number One signing off.